Hey, what's up, big John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my live reaction of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 20. Yeah, I think we're on episode 20. We've come a long way, and I hope you guys have been enjoying watching this with me. And of course, as always, to watch this with me, you can click on the card right here or follow the link in the description below. And we can watch this anime together at the exact same time by following this overlay right here. And we can pretend like you're sitting right next to me and we're watching this episode together. With all that being said, I'm pretty excited to get started. Things have really been heating up in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and I've been really enjoying it. So with that being said, hopefully you have your episode up and ready to go because I'm going to be pressing play in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so the episode has started. And like I was saying, like, yo, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has really impressed me in these recent episodes. Like, first 13 I thought were, like, good. Mostly because I already knew everything that was happening in those episodes due to the fact that I saw Full Metal Alchemist Brother, uh, not Full Metal Alchemist 2003. Which the first 13 episodes kind of cover a lot of the things that were covered in that anime. But after that point, things have taken a completely different route. And it's a fresh new experience that I'm really enjoying. Um, they've definitely got me a couple of times. They got me with freaking Maria Ross. I thought she was dead, but she was alive. That was amazing. Um, they got me with Mustang. Dude, Mustang is like one of my favorite characters now. The guy has really shown up and become like a pillar in this anime. Like a pillar of, I guess, justice for lack of a better word. But with that being said... I hope you guys have been enjoying watching this with me. And of course, as always, if you could drop a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. It helps it out tremendously. And I know some of you guys already did it. So a huge shout out to you. And as soon as this opening's over, we can head right into this episode. Although I don't really know what's going to happen in this episode. So the last episode ended with like Mustang killing Lust, one of the homunculi. And, like, everyone just, like, a happy ending, kind of. Like, not, I don't know, happy ending was the wrong word. Like, just, like, a conclusion to this little, like, um, I guess, Maria Ross, like, fake death arc. I don't know how else to describe it, but I'm curious to see. Oh, yo! Wow, I'm an idiot. The last end episode ended right here. With freaking Ed seeing his dad. I forgot. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. So this man knows. I love how his dad doesn't even, like, look at him. He's just, like, looking into the distance. <laughs> I love how he burned down the house, and it's technically... Technically his dad's house. He just burned it, burned it down. Oh, yo. Yo, this guy's such a dick. Holy shit. Ed, can you please stick him in the face? Yo. Ed's dad's a total dick. Holy shit. Straight up. Fuck this guy. This episode's called Father Before the Grave. I don't know what that means, but his dad's a total dickbag. And can we talk about how his dad's, like, pretty tall and Ed's short as fuck? Like, what the hell happened? Oh, yo, that's awkward as fuck. They're staying in the same house together. Yo, if I were Ed, I'd be ready to fucking throw hands. Can't just have this guy looking over your shoulder. Chill the fuck out. Yeah, god damn, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Oh shit, that's right, he was awake the whole time. Yo, always on guard. Ed, you've always gotta be on guard. Straight up, the dog's... The dog's on guard too. Yeah, look, he looks happy there. Like, what the fuck happened?
What the hell? Yo. What the hell? Yo. What the fuck? This guy knows? What the fuck? Yo, so you see that Ed was like there and fucking Ed's dad knew he was there. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yo, he knows this now. Yeah. Yo, this man Al's fucked up. Holy shit. Yeah, but you wouldn't know if that one's immediately compatible. Oh, fuck. This man Ling just wants to live forever. I love how he just comes in. He like knocks, waits two seconds, and just comes in. It's like, fuck it, if she's not even gonna have to answer. <laughs> True story. Yo, can we talk about when Winry's gonna like fix Al's armor, or is like Ed just gonna come back and transmute it back together? Yo, do you hear this? Hear this music in the background right now? What the hell? Oh, fuck. What is with this guy? Yo, look, notice how this little, like, silhouette thing always also has, like, a fucked up arm and leg. Oh, fuck. Yo, this is a messed up dream. Holy shit. This is a fucked up nightmare. Oh, Jesus. That's so nasty, dude. Oh, God. It was crazy how him and his dad haven't even, like, talked at all. Yo, fuck this guy. He's so uneasy, like, you just don't like him. Well, mostly because we already saw him as, like, the bad guy. Yo, this guy looks fucking crazy all the time. Yeah, I don't think this man's coming back. Yep. And this music is fucking ominous as hell. It's just like, like, you know he's bad. Like, the anime just, like, tells you, like, this guy's bad. Like, the music, everything just fucking sucks about him. Yeah, what are they doing? What the hell? Are they going to check where they buried her mom? To to check like the hair and the eye color? The fuck is with his heart? Is it like... Oh, his stumps are aching from the weather. 
I thought it was like his heart was hurting because he was like in his old house. Like I was like, okay, that's a little too much in your feelings. Did you just throw up? Uh. Wait, where the fuck is his arm? Oh, he doesn't have his right, like, metal arm on. Why doesn't he have his arm on? Wait, wait, his arm's there! What the fuck? Was that like an animation error? What the fuck was that? Did you see that? Like, his arm wasn't there before. I wasn't the only one that saw that, right? What the fuck? No, it's raining pretty hard, Jesus. And she's old as fuck. She's just out here, like, picking weeds. Yo, how many times is this guy gonna throw up? Yo, shout out to the old lady. Ed, you're being a little bitch. She's fine as fuck. She's chilling and she's, like, four times your age. God damn. Dude, the music, what the hell? Oh. I guess we got there? Eh. Eh. Kinda nasty. What color is the hair? Okay. Okay. Yo, she's like fucking examining the body like a fucking, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but what the fuck? So what did he transmute if it's not his mom? That's kind of odd. That's weird. Like what, what could it be? Okay. Has he, has he gone crazy? Yep, he's he's gone fucking crazy. Yo, he went crazy for like half a minute. Yeah, dude, that's one big ass guy. Okay. Yo, look at Al and his body. But, okay, what the f- So he was going crazy like two seconds ago and now he's like- Now he's like, okay, so we can- I can get Al's body back. Like, somehow this like gave me hope. I don't really get it. I don't know, but it stopped raining. Oh, what the heck? So I'd say happy meat. Oh fuck. That's a harsh harsh subject. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Has she not checked either? Or does she, like, not want to tell uh, uh, Ed? Or does she not want to, like, admit it? Oh, right, because that's Granny. That's... That's the... She's the mom of... Of, um... Well, is she the mom of the dad? Or the mom of the... Of the... Of the mother? What's the message? 
What the fuck? What was the request? What the fuck? Oh, that's weird. Did she know? Did she know that this man, Ed's father, was immortal? I mean, they were married. Do you think that... I don't know. I don't know. Yo, straight up, that's what you should have done a long time ago. Ed should have stuck the man in the face. Yo, so I wonder if his teacher's gonna... Oh, he got back fast. <laughs> this man is always eating. I love how they're just waiting outside. What the heck? Alright, so yeah. They were just waiting for uh, uh, Ed to come back to transmute the armor for him. I guess so. That works out too. Yeah, back to normal. Yo, this man Ed is so confident. That's the first thing he says? He's not going to tell him that he saw Pop? No. <laughs> I love how he just like goes like, Fuck. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, why did that convince him? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turned you both down. Damn, that is a fucking blow to the heart. <laughs> yeah, straight up, he was like super serious for a second until Winry took a shot. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> That's so weird. Fucking grabbing your own hand in another body. Oh. Oh, fuck. So that was Al. So they just fucked themselves up in reality. What the hell? Oh, yo. Shit, I was wondering when she was gonna call. Oh, fuck.
Okay. Damn, that sucks ass. But I mean, it's the truth. What's life without death? But didn't he see when he was in the portal a way to... Way to do it? I don't know. Oh, yo. Yeah, I guess so she got, like, she got some closure for what she did. It was probably because she got some closure as to, like, what she did. Oh, fuck. Yo, and they got some closure too. That's good. Yo, but hear me out. Ed's... Ed's dad... Ed's dad already knew this though. He's the one that gave Ed the hint. Like, oh, check if you actually transmuted mom. Like, this guy knows everything. Yo, look. From this angle, Ed is, is as taller than Al. Yo, the music in the background. Oh, fuck. Don't bring up this man, Hughes. Oh, fuck. Okay. He's got a point. He's got a point. Okay. Yo, look at Ed just like walking down. Oh, man. Yo, read a book. Play a game. Have some fun. Like, damn, you can't sleep, Al. But I guess after a while, that could suck some ass. They just like ran up the stairs like little kids going to play in their rooms. What is she looking? What the hell? Was she just looking at the man's shoulders? Was like, <laughs> it's like, yo. Has Ed, has Ed always been that yoked? Like, what? I don't know what that was about, but... Pretty good episode, dude. Pretty good episode. I don't know what the fuck's going on with Ed's dad. That guy's so fucking ominous and like, ugh. Clearly, he's our villain, because we saw him a couple episodes back with all the Hamaki line. They're, like, planning something. And clearly, he told uh, Winwee's grandmother, like, oh, you should get out of here. Some crazy shit's about to go down, which... If he knows crazy shit is going to go down, it's most likely because he's the one that's going to cause this crazy shit. What he's going to do, I don't know. What the fuck like, his plan has been this whole time, we don't know. Clearly, he's been alive for a super long time because he made the homunculi that came from him. And the homunculi were saying how they've been alive for hundreds of years. And then we heard that Ed's mom made a promise to him that she wouldn't die before him. As if, like... Ed's dad didn't want to be immortal. And he wanted... He wanted to die himself. So, I don't know. Crazy stuff. Pretty good episode. I really enjoyed it. No freaking crazy-ass cliffhanger this episode, but more of, like, a resolve this episode. Now, Ed and Al have, like, regained their drive to get their bodies back. And are no longer looking for a way to... Bring their mom back to life. Like, they've accepted that she's dead forever now. So, 
that's pretty cool. And I guess it was a pretty good episode. I liked it. I liked it. Um, let me know your thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this episode. And as always, if you enjoyed watching it with me, then definitely hit that like button as it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And till then, as always, thanks for watching this with me and keep being you.